It's your man Alex, and your boy's not feeling too good today. The first upload didn't have sound, so I'm redoing it right now, and I didn't have a backup, so I sound like garbage because I feel a little bit under the weather. You know, it doesn't really happen often, um, but I'm not feeling too good today, so I apologize in advance for the booty audio. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the David Beckham haircut tutorial. And so to kick things off with the haircut, I'm starting with the no guard lever completely open. And really I'm just trying to set in my initial guideline and debulk the hair as much as possible. Um, he did have a solid like inch or two inches on the sides. So I had to debulk and then I will be going back uh, after I do the debulking to fix up the lines to make sure that the lines are as straight as possible because the last thing you want when you're giving somebody a haircut including yourself is to have crooked guidelines all right you want the fade to be crisp you want the fade to be gradient and smooth and even on both sides of your head so in order to do that the lines that you put in for each guideline must be even and straight and so to continue with the debulking, I'm using the number two guard lever open and I'm going up a solid two full inches. So I'm giving myself some leeway room to use the number one guard lever open next, but the number two guard is strictly used to debulk the hair, right? There's a lot of hair on his head. So I'm debulking to clear up the space so I can go in and make everything nice later on and fix up the lines as needed. So like I just mentioned, I'm going back with the no guard lever open and fixing up the initial guideline, right? So I'm making that line as straight and even as possible on both sides. So that way it sets us up for a very good foundation of the haircut. Now, using the number one guard lever open, I'm going up one full inch from that guideline, which is still giving us another inch to the number two guard lever open, which is what we used before to debulk. So we're giving ourselves a solid one inch for each guideline to space out the fade. And uh, when we go in and fade, it's gonna be much more gradient. Now, while you're cutting your hair, you're going to see a hard line in between the number one guard lever open and the number two guard lever open. So in order to get rid of that hard line, you're going to need to use the number one and a half guard lever closed and just nick away at that hard line, starting from beneath the hard line and digging slightly into the hard line to remove it. And so now using the half guard with the lever halfway open and closed, go in and start to remove that bottom hard line. And so after using the half guard lever halfway open and closed, if you still see a slight hard line from that initial guideline, you have to go back to your initial guideline, which in this case was the no guard lever open. So go back to that guard and use the corners of the blade to knock out the final hard line. And so now that we're pretty much done with the fade, I'm moving into cutting the length on top using my shears and my comb. So really I'm going in, starting off blending in the fade to the hair by his part line and the crown of his head. 
so I'm, I'm trying to basically give his haircut the shape cutting at a 90 degree angle but still removing uh, at least an inch of hair so that it's pretty even so that way when I go and start to cut the top of his head I have a perimeter guideline which will allow me to cut the rest of his hair at a pretty similar length of course leaving the front of his hair towards his forehead much longer than the back of his head. And if you are a beginner at cutting your own hair or cutting someone else's hair, when it comes to cutting the hair on top using scissors and your comb, you have to make sure that you cut both vertically and horizontally on your hair or your, you know, the other person's hair. And what this will do will pretty much allow you to make sure that you're double checking your work so that each section on your head or on their head is even so that you don't have you know certain spots on the hair much longer than other parts especially you know shorter hair in the front and longer hair in the back so cutting vertically cutting horizontally will allow you to make sure that the hair on top is even and the way it should be now using my thinning shears i'm going in and basically blending in a little bit more the hair on these sides to the hair on top right so i'm blending in the fade to the length on top using the thinning shears again and this is pretty much one of the best ways and in my opinion it's it's definitely my favorite way to blend hair on any type of haircut whether it's yourself or someone else using the thinning shears is key all right if you guys don't have thinning shears highly recommend you can definitely check it out or check out like a nine or ten piece kit using the link in the description down below And so if you guys really want to make your haircut stand out, use your trimmers to go around and give yourself a solid lineup, all right? On the back of your head, on the sides of your neck, around your ear, on your temple, on your forehead. Follow the natural contour of your hairline and just make the lines crispy, make them straight. This is definitely going to make your haircut pop and stand out way more. So just so you guys know, I'm running a summer promotion for the self haircut course for $99 and it's going to be ending on August 30th. So if any of you guys have ever been interested in learning how to give yourself haircuts just like this one, really nice fades or even more simple haircuts, definitely check out the self haircut course. This is going to be the cheapest it will ever be come September 1st. The price will be increasing and never going back to $99. So if you are interested, definitely check it out. I also do private one on one live streams. So you learn directly from me face to face via Zoom call. So if it sounds interesting, definitely check it out using the link in the description down below. But are right, you guys, this is the before of this David Beckham haircut tutorial. Uh, my man had a lot of hair on his head, really bulky, definitely messy and in need of a haircut. And let me know in the comments what you guys think down below if it came out good or if it came out uh, not so good, right? I think it came out pretty solid. Um, but if you guys did like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, Definitely check out the links in the description as well. But uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.